What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Z-Man Show. Today's Nintendo Direct was a partner showcase. While it wasn't revolutionary or anything really, really crazy, it had some cool and interesting bits to it. So let's take a look at some of the bigger announcements they made. So the first thing announced was the first of four games that Xbox is putting on other platforms. That being Grounded. Now, if you haven't heard of it, Grounded is a game where you were shrunk down and you have to survive in your backyard. Basically, honey, I shrunk the kids the game. There's kind of a mysterious story of how you got shrunk and why you got shrunk, blah, 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 and you have to uh, find a way to get back to normal. Obviously, it's not a new game, but like I mentioned before, there were four games from Xbox that were going to go on to different systems, and this is going to be the first one, so it is kind of a uh, big announcement. And one thing that's pretty cool is actually that this is going to be cross-platform as well. So you'll be able to play with people that are on Xbox or on PC, and most likely PlayStation 5, as long as this game also goes over there. I would assume that if it's going to the Switch, then it's probably going on the PlayStation as well. After that, the next bigger kind of announcement I would say there was the Epic Mickey remake. Personally, I never got into that game, never played it before, um, but I do know that it was very, very popular, and I've seen plenty of people wanting a, another sequel or a port or something of either the first or second games, so I'm sure this comes as good news to uh, obviously a lot of the fans of the original game. Not much to that announcement other than, you know, that that's what it is, it's coming, but uh, I'd say that was kind of one of the bigger ones. The next big announcement was Battlefront Classic Collections. The two original Star Wars Battlefront games are coming to Switch, and they didn't say anything about exclusivity, so it's probably going to go on the other two consoles, and hopefully PC as well. And thankfully, it's going to have online capabilities. So if you didn't get to have the experience of the original games back when they were in their prime online or anything like that, you're going to get to see how good they were. And honestly, with such a less demanding game, I'm guessing it could run pretty well on the Switch, even with those 64 people playing at the same time. But we'll see how that goes when we get to it. The next announcement wasn't really an announcement per se, it was still just the South Park Snow Day game. I think we already knew it was going to come to Switch, but uh, either way, they showed some new gameplay of it, which I still don't really get what the game is about, what you do. It, it, like what the gameplay style is. I mean, it's 3D and you're fighting, so I mean, I guess it's like a beat em up. I, I'm not sure. I think the craziest thing about it was just seeing the Nintendo Direct voice announcer guy talk about a South Park game in a Nintendo Direct. It just doesn't fit. Join Cartman, Stan, and all the rest to save the town. It just really seems weird to me, but it's cool. It's cool to see some new gameplay of that. The next bigger announcement was a new Super Monkey Ball game, Banana Rumble. The main game, obviously, it's Monkey Ball, again, optional motion controls, so you don't have to use motion controls. That's pretty cool. I think the main thing they're focusing on, though, is the multiplayer. 16 players at a time can do a couple of different multiplayer modes, which actually do look pretty cool. There's a racing mode where, obviously, you're racing to the finish line. There's um, what they're calling Banana Rush. I think it's just get as many bananas as you can before time runs out. And then uh, one that's called Robot Smash. You beat a robot or something. When they first showed off the multiplayer, it looked like there was going to be some kind of Battle Royale mode, which honestly would be really cool. Everybody going, trying to get to the end of the track in time, basically Fall Guys, but you know, Monkey Ball already has the obstacle courses and everything. If they would add that, that would have been really cool. I would have loved a Monkey Ball style Battle Royale kind of multiplayer mode. Maybe they could add that later. I don't know if they have plans on adding more multiplayer modes, but um, that I thought would be really, really cool. So the last bigger thing that was shown was a few Rareware games that are coming to Switch Online. The games themselves aren't anything super special, at least not in my opinion. If you love any of these games, that's obviously totally cool. Just me, I wasn't really interested in any of them. I, uh, Other than Killer Instinct, I haven't really heard of any of the other ones. They're just not for me. But what it does make me excited for is I think it sets the precedent that we can maybe get some more Rareware games like Banjo-Tooie and then also Donkey Kong 64. Honestly, some of Nintendo's best games came from uh, the Rare Studio. So, I mean, the more we can get from them, the happier I'm going to be. And I think the happier a lot of classic Nintendo fans are going to be. So those are what I would consider the biggest parts of the Direct. Everything else kind of went to the wayside for me personally. I mean, it might be different for you. If I didn't go over something that you're excited about, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, overall, I don't think the Direct was was incredible, but it definitely had some good parts to it. I'm uh, glad I watched it. Hopefully soon we get a legit Nintendo Direct that's about Nintendo stuff. Like I said, was there stuff that uh, I didn't go over that you are really excited for, or were you disappointed with the Direct? Let me know down in the comments. But that's it for me for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time on the Z-Man Show.